Yes. Woo. All right, guys, welcome to the team call. It is May 9th, second week in May. Um, and we're so excited. We already have some recognition. So, what? Sorry, no, nothing. First of all, if you just got on, you missed it because Push It was blaring in that one. <laughs> push It real good. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can always put it on later, so don't worry. Um, <laughs> Robin has already hit her success club this month. What? And then let's see, Jackie is at four. One more person. Jackie's goal is she's leaving on vacation. When are you leaving, Jackie? Saturday morning. Yeah. So her goal is to hit her five before she. And my goes. blender, and and my bags are ready to go. <laughs> yes. She's ready. She's ready. That's awesome. So Jackie's at four. Helped two people. Stacy's already helped two people. Jada's on the board, Catherine, Rania. So that's awesome, you guys. It's exciting. Some, you know, we're going to have people hitting Success Club and helping three people by the 10th, which is fantastic. So even if you aren't on the board yet, that's all right. You will be. Keep going. Keep doing your thing. Um, does anybody have a success they want to share this week? Come on, you know I'll pick on you if you don't. Come on. My kids' team just beat... In his first playoff game, they won 13 to 3. Nice. Hey. That's not awesome. just a win. That's like a smoker. That's I'm a pretty win. sure I saw your brother there, Christy. I bet you did. He's like all he, he's to um RSM what I am to Lake Forest. Right. Is he no the pirates, right? He was all scouting out. Yep, and he does all the fundraising too. Yeah. But I think those pirates are um uh, were undefeated also. Are you in the we same we almost beat them on Saturday. Oh. Seven to six. It was six oh to six gosh. in the bottom of the sixth inning. Oh, man. But anyway, yeah, they, wouldn't, they wanted to be undefeated, I guess, more than we wanted to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Anyway, sorry, sidebar. It's all right. Anybody else? Any successes this week? Deanne threw together our free – she didn't throw it together, but Deanne put together our free group. For this Yay, month. Deanne. Thank you. She definitely yes. didn't throw it together. You put a lot of work into it. So thank Absolutely. You. Anybody else? All right. So we are going to move on to Annette. She's Hi, there. guys. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to um, talk about our dates a little bit for the rest of May. Um, as, as you all know, we just talked about the free group. Um, and we've got that going through uh, Friday this week. Ooh, Friday the 13th. I think it's a seven day. Is it? I think it's five. Yeah, but it goes through Sunday. Oh, it does? Oh. Yeah. Kind of Way to pay attention. I only <laughs> scheduled mine through <laughs> the third day, so um, I haven't gotten that far. I looked through it all, but anyway. Um, yeah, so we've got the full week of um, this week for that, so I would suggest keep adding people in. I've added 46 new contacts uh, alone just from this particular event. Um, so yeah, just keep at it, guys. Um, it's a great opportunity Annette, to grow your list. What? I'm going to interrupt for a second. Yeah. Um, I may adjust the actual workout because after listening to everybody today, a lot of people were complaining about how hard today was. Oh, really? Today was an easier day than the days coming. So <laughs> I'm going to adjust my workout. A little bit and maybe okay. take instead of having four days I think I'm gonna take or four exercises I think I'm gonna remove one each day so there's just three. Oh, okay so, um, but you should I haven't gotten any you complaints have, in mine but uh -huh. I did also I did, haven't gotten any complaint because you know I'm doing the separate group because I had such a big um, group of people so I um, haven't had any complaints but what I have been telling people is just do fewer uh, just do lighter weight. You know, we know we recommend, you know, if you really want to see some, some change, you know, go for the eight rep max. Um, but if that's just too hard for you and you want to make sure you're able to get through all the exercises, just use a lighter weight that you know that you can do yeah. 10 to 12 reps. That's okay. what I told some people and they're like, Ooh, yeah, I felt the burn. I was using three pounders. I'm like, Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had to burn <laughs> anyway so but yeah just um I would say just so you don't have to put too much effort into it just just maybe announce that to people say rather than taking away just do what you can if you have to go lighter weights that's what I would say okay save yourself the hassle of having to make changes at this point 
So, okay, back to calendar. Let me get back on that. Um, we have a um, another summer, summer sizzle or summer shape up or summer strong, whatever you want to call it when you are um, promoting it. Um, is it 21 day group girls? Yeah. 21 day group. Um, mixed bag, of course, anything that um, you feel uh, is working for your people. We're just you know, having them in the group for 21 days. So <clears throat> um, I would yeah, say so do your any best. Workout, any workout. Yeah. Has to be on Shakeology. Absolutely. Absolutely. What about and, uh, and performance formula, right? Oh, yes. Yeah, they could be one or the other or both mm -hmm. um, for sure. Okay. What's the start date of that? The 23rd yeah. of this month. Yeah, so it gives, it gives us a couple weeks from today. And then um, we're, we have on the schedule here the sneak peek as of the 16th. Robin, did you have a, a different date that you no. were saying? Oh, okay. I thought you were saying that it was on the 23rd. Somebody was no, saying it was the challenge on. group. Okay, got it. All right, so good. Yeah, the, um, the sneak peek is next Monday for three days. Well, actually, we, we always do a fourth you know, in the morning of the fourth day, um, one last little post, but it's a great opportunity to share the business opportunity with others without having to do a lot of talking because we provide all the information that they're going to need. And it's a really great opportunity to just say, Hey, if this is something you think you might be interested in doing this totally non-obligation, um, group we have going on, I, I, you know, may I add you to the group so you can check it out. And nine times out of 10 people will say, sure. So, um, been there. And I would say by Wednesday of this week at the latest is when you should start um, promoting it. Maybe create an event if you want to, but definitely get those private messages out there. Start messaging people um, individually. Okay. And that's all I have on the calendar for the rest of May. Oh, well, I'm also starting the ultimate oh, yeah. reset on Monday. So that's if right. anybody wants to join me or if you have anybody that's interested, um, I'm probably going to run a challenge group if I get anybody other than myself, or I might try to just run it by myself on the app, the challenge app. So um, I'm starting Monday. I would love to have people join me. Yeah, I started so today. Shane. Somebody is like, I'm hurt. I can't work out. Well, great. You can do this. Yeah. And you're day one, right? Day one. I'm starving. <laughs> And we for dinner. <laughs> I want it so bad. I just needed food delivery service. I was like, Ugh, if I just didn't have to make all that food. I know, right? I know. That's okay. What, you know. So, oh, sorry. Do you want to say something else about it? Nope. I was just going to say, if I, when I hit my first million, that's what I have. That's I'll what I'm doing. Something else just to a personal it. chef. Yeah, totally. Positive spin on it because I'm sure a lot of you haven't done it. I mean, I've done it twice and both times it was like phenomenal. Like lost 16 pounds, never felt better than I have in my whole life. On day 22, both times I was like, oh, this, my brain was more active, everything. And I was sleeping better. I mean, I highly, highly recommend it. It's just, it's brutal. It's kind of hard. It's horrible. It's really like I really wanted to do it, but it's scaring me too much right now. <laughs> I do. I want to be a failure. I do not hard in terms because you feel like you're eating. You feel fairly yeah. satiated, yeah. but it's the pre. You know, it's like you know because you're following everything so regimented. By week three, it's a whole lot easier because you're having fruit every morning and salad for lunch. I mean, it's just really clockwork by then. But yeah, it's um, it's great. I feel sweet. You have to be committed. It's good, yeah. but you have to be committed. Yeah. Totally. Well, the good news is it is one of the programs that I've actually like totally start to finish completely done by the book. So there's something about it that really does make you like firmly committed. So that's absolutely. Yeah, for sure. So if anybody wants to join me, um, I think that's it. Okay. Rania. All right. So I just, I guess I'm Rania for whoever I have not met. I haven't been on these calls for a while. So um, I am talking about incentives today. Um, Success Club 5, right? Is it 5 for the Brian Tracy? Okay. Brian yeah. Tracy webinar. Um, so really great personal development. If you hit Success Club 5, you get access to that. And then for anyone going to Summit in Success Club 10 for May and June, you get to go to the 80s party. 
So that'll be really fun. And you won't want to miss that, I'm sure, because they definitely do the parties right. I know. I wonder who the band's going to be. I don't know. Probably like a good cover band. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah. No, probably. <laughs> I can't wait. That'll be really fun. Um, is that everything I was supposed to talk about? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Talking about Sean T. Oh, yeah. So top, what, 150 diamond and above, and then t- uh, 150 ruby below. Success Club point a free um, personal workout with Sean T. Yeah. So that's pretty cool, too. Awesome. Say that again. I didn't know that one yet. I thought it was the th- – 350. Yeah, 350 of each. So 700 total. Right. So if you're diamond or above, the top 350 success club earners, diamond and above, and then 350 ruby and below, um, will get an exclusive workout at Summit with Shanti. A size workout, I believe. On Friday night. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he had plans with me, but whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Anyway, I'm over it. I canceled on him, so I'll tell you how he became a animal too. I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I All was right. in happy second, so then he just moved on to the rest of Beach Body <laughs> after, after we weren't available. That's exactly. okay. He was over here tonight. <laughs> wow. Oh, she won up you. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I did the first size workout. I loved it. It was so much fun. Oh, good. That's good. awesome. Yay. No Mother's Day treat for myself. Sorry. Talk about that. Go. Talk about that on your wall. Talk about that on your wall. Uh, anyway, yes, and Summit, if you guys are considering it, get on that waiting list. You can still go. We have room, and we want you, and you won't regret it. Okay. Ron, so you know who is going to Summit. Yami, Rania, Deanne, anyone else? Anyone else kind of still maybe considering it? Like, if we can get you to pull the trigger? Okay, just so I know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so we have a special guest on tonight, and if you if you were in our diamond, if you are in our diamond group, you have um, met Christy McLean. She is our um, Shalice, Annette, and I are Epwine sponsor. She sponsored all of us, and in two thousand eight, is that right? That you won the contest. Okay, so so I first even heard about about Christy doing all this. When she was, um, she won the million dollar body game, which is now the beach body challenge. And she won a crap load of money and she was the big, big, big grand prize winner. Um, so if you've seen any videos of like more recent winners, Christy was, um, then, and she had an amazing transformation with turbo jam and moved on. And then she's in the cast of turbo fire. If you guys have, she's in, she's, very well seen in turbo in um fire 30 right i think um, you know more than me about me <laughs> <laughs> she's a lifetime five star diamond coach um anyway she that's how before and after from that yes quest just yes. Like, if, you, if you guys and have she's any. also my friend since junior high so um but thanks to her, I met Shalice and Annette, and now we have this big partnership, and it's amazing. And she's kind of just going to tell you a little about her and what she has going on. So please yeah. welcome Christy. Hello to those of you that I haven't met yet. A few of you I've gotten to know better in our Diamond Push group. So some of this might be a little um, repetition for you, but I'll backtrack a little bit for those of you who don't know me. Um, and you might not, you might wonder like where I came from. I and mean, raise your hand if you really don't know that much about me, just so I know how to tailor um, what I'm saying. Okay. Um, I know a lot about you. <laughs> right. <laughs> raise your hand if you know more about me than me. <laughs> Um, well, I, um, started as a coach in 2008, like Robin said, and the contest I actually won was in 2009, the official, but it was for my, um, success story from 2008. So I first signed up in June. I had been doing turbo jam and lost 70 pounds. And then I realized that there was this beach body challenge contest, which was the million dollar body game at the time. And I entered it and I entered my story and then I, proceeded to just be obsessed with learning about Beachbody and 
um, watched the videos on coaching like a million times, spent hours and days like, what is this? And can I really do this? And I was always like a anti MLM or you know, I'll go to the Tupperware party. I'll, you know, go to your um, pampered chef party. I'll for sure buy something, but don't even bother asking me to sign up. And so it's kind of weird to me sometimes still to be like so committed to this business and that's kind of what got the better of me and maybe why you um don't know me as well because I've been a coach for um you know eight years and you're probably thinking why are you just why am I just talking to you now for the first time um so I steadily grew my business um over the course of five years and so 2009 when I won the contest I really didn't have a um huge impact on my business because at that time I was really just doing a lot of retail. Um, I, I really didn't like embrace the whole building a team idea and I still had this um, thing in my head about you know what people think of me as a coach and not um, owning my business um, because maybe I was embarrassed about it being an MLM or something. So um, that kind of was the one thing that really held me back and I got over it I have, through the help of a, a mentor that I was working with at that time, but slowly it crept back. And so my story right now is mostly about um, personal development and just really committing to um, a purpose. And so if this is what we're going to spend our time on, if this is the job we've decided to do, then why not do it a hundred percent? Um, so, which I was doing at the time that I was building my business strong. I was a two-time elite coach um, and a lifetime five-star. And then I got to a point where um, it, it got hard. It was, there's a lot of people to manage and um, a lot of things to consider. And so um, as I was doing a lot of training groups and a lot of one-on-ones, I, kind of, I was starting to get this little burnout feeling, not doing any personal development. And then I was pushing for my third year of elite and I missed it by one point. I was doing all the calculations up to the last minute and kind of freaking out about it and, you know, missing time over Christmas. And lo and behold, I thought I had it, but I went to the New Year's party at like 930 when I was supposed to be there at six. And next day it turns up, I literally missed it by like half a point. So that was a crushing blow. And at the same time, I got I um, went to do my workout like a couple weeks later, and where I could do a hundred push-ups, you know, on my toes that day, I just I couldn't even push myself up to to do one, and I didn't know what happened to me. I my all strength was gone. I had crazy fatigue and depression, and couldn't get through a day without crying. Finally, decided to get tested. Like two months going through all this, as my business is kind of crumbling, and I'm like trying to delegate and ask for support wherever I can. And um, I finally got tested for Hashimoto's disease, and that's um, and was diagnosed with that. So, um, if you have, if you come across anyone with Hashimoto's disease or any um, thyroid disorders, um, I'm happy to help discuss with them. Because I, it, through trying different things with medication and um, dietary um, changes, I've been able to manage it. But um, initially, my um, one of my doctors told me that when your body's inflammatory, that you could that anything, even too much of a good thing, could be bad for you. So I kind of like took that and ran with it, and all of my depression and everything else, and was like, I'm not drinking Shakeology anymore. I, in fact. I'm not even doing this anymore. And I hadn't really made a decision about it. I never really did. I just kind of dropped it and moved on and uh, needed that time to heal. And that healing time grew into more of a like indifference and not really paying attention to it. And um, along the way, you know, my relationships with these great coaches who helped me build my business, Annette, Shalise, Robin, Priscilla, and a lot of others, you know, suffered. So um, now having come through the other side of that and realizing that all of their hard work is what kind of carried me through what turned out to be one of the toughest times in my life so far, and that um, I really have a huge responsibility to um, everybody that is in this business and in my downline. And a whole lot of gratitude for it and um, the fact that I was able to build a business at home and stay home and raise my kids all the while I have a 11 um, year old and an eight year old 
And so my eight year old was, you know, an infant at that time. And so I was able to raise a business that, that grew to a six figure income with my children at home. And at, I mean, that's just unheard of and amazing that we have that opportunity and that, you know, I really, you know, two, two solid years of like, you know, put it, pouring everything I could into it. And that really did kind of sustain for a couple of years, as long as I had this good foundation of coaches who were willing to work. And that's why you got to really be careful who you're, who you ask to work with you, that it's not just a, you know, grabbing at straws and whoever, whoever you can get to fill your team. Granted, sometimes you need to do that to fill a goal, to, you know, meet a goal. My husband is a coach and he doesn't work the business. A lot of us use spouses and family members in order to, um, you know, do that last success club point or whatever. And some of that is part of the business, but it is very important to pick your business partners wisely. Look at your business like a business and treat it like a business. And you, you've heard a lot of this before. I mean, if, if you don't open the doors to your coffee shop, when you open it, then nobody's going to come. And, or if you open it one day and you're closed the next day and nobody really knows when you're working and you know, or the, I don't know if they're open on Tuesdays or Thursdays or what. And that's kind of what you're doing. If you're not posting consistently on your social media outlets and things like that, we need to be um, a consistent force with our customers. And the, I'm, I, I say that, but it's one of the, the things I struggle with most because I get, we all get caught up in our, in our lives. And um, that is that whenever I'm struggling to get success club points and things like that, that's what I keep coming back to. Am I even posting on my page? What am I posting about? Am I only posting when I have a challenge or am I actually providing value to my target audience? So, um, basically I, to backtrack a little, to kind of get back on track. Um, in September, um, I made a commitment to Robin and at Shalise and Priscilla that I was going to, um, kind of jump back in and do more with this. And, but I w really wasn't sure about, um, where at, or at what level. And so gradually over the course of the past eight months that has grown to, um, a very serious commitment more because, um, I see the impact I'm able to make. If I went out and got any other job, I would not be able to just pick up where I left off and be able to influence you know, over 1,500 people who are in my downline or even manage a team or have the opportunity to speak to 13 people like are on this call. So I realize what an amazing platform this is for any message that you have for the world. And it's such a supportive network that will be there for you when you need the help. You know, so much of the world is, you know, cynical and apathetic now. And I feel like this is a network of people that is constantly wanting to grow, wanting to do better, make their health a priority. And how could it be a bad place to spend your time? And, um, you know, I know we're going to get a lot of opposition because when, when people make good decisions and you're putting something out there that people should do, but they struggle with, it's immediately something that they kind of judge themselves on and push away a little bit. They, they push back. They don't just jump right in. So, um, you know, that's why you have to keep consistent and you have to keep coming back to them. But, um, if you are strong in your purpose and you know the message that you want to set to send, like, I'm not just going out there and sharing my workouts. I have a specific purpose about, um, delivering a message to women and helping women, you know, start their own business. And at this particular time, I have X amount of coaches that I want to turn into diamonds in my downline. This year, I want to have 100 coaches in Team All In, which is the umbrella that you're under with me as the upline coach. Um, I want to I want to have 100 diamonds, you know, pop within Team All In this year. And so that's a definite purpose that I can quantify and work towards. So I would encourage you guys to be, to always know what your long-term and short-term goals are and, um, you know, make a vision board, make, have a, a affirmation statement about it, about the type of coach that you want to be, who your target audience is. Know that it's okay to single people out. You don't have to save the whole world. You just have to have, you know, who your target audience is and direct your message to them. Um, and know what, and so if, if nothing else, you know, just really think about what is my brand and who do I want to attract to my team 
Um, and, you know, opening up your doors for business and have a consistent message. So um, basically, you know, to kind of tie up any loose ends on my story there, that's, that's kind of where I've, I've come from. And, you know, a lot of highs and lows and a lot of failures and frustrations along the way, but a lot of successes too. And and amazing relationships and a new sense of gratitude that I really want to pass on to you guys and just reassure you that when it gets tough, you know, it always gets better. Um, and this is a, a business that's, that's, you know, people driven and your customer is a person, your product is adults and, and that's tough. I mean, if, and think about how, how many times you've got to put your message out there because people here, but they don't necessarily act on it. And I've been trying to apply this to other businesses as I think about how can I motivate coaches and reassure them that their business is moving along. If you like, I get a state farm, a letter from the same agent every single month, you know, like you know, there's certain pieces of mail or certain emails that you get repetitively. And it isn't until the timing is just right. Or maybe I, you know, that I, I don't know if I'll, I probably will never call that state farm guy, but you know, the reason they send all those ma ma that mail over and over and over is because one day, you know, someone's going to pick up the phone and call. But the other thing to, to consider with that is it's not just the broadcast message that gets, gets you the business. You know, they can keep sending all that broadcast messages all they want and we can put out Facebook posts and we can put out Instagram, but it's not until we actually pick up the phone or personally invite somebody that, that the action happens. Um, people want to be led and your job as a coach is to be a leader. And if someone's talking to you or listening to you or asking you questions, they're giving you permission. You don't have to wait for them or, you know, worry about, um, are you being too salesy? Cause they're already perceiving you as a leader and as a coach and asking for your advice. And so the way to get them to, you know, do something is not like a, okay, check this out and let me know what you think. It's okay. Here's what you're going to do. I highly recommend that you do 21 day fix. I have a group starting on March 23rd and you're going to be in it. And this is what you're going to do. Do you want me to, uh, to, to process that order for you or do you want to get on the online right now and I'll walk you through it. So that's two choices that are favorable responses for you. You know, not a, you know, let's wait and see. It's not a response you want. So why put it out there? So um, always think about what your end in mind is. When you send that invite message to someone, when you pick up the phone to call, what do you want to happen at the end of that? So always know what that is, your end in mind. And then build your follow-up into your communication so that you can set the expectation. So you give them what, what you think they need, you highly recommend it, and then you set the expectation of follow-up. So check that out and I'll follow up with you at 10 a.m. tomorrow. And if that doesn't work for you, please text me and let me know your next availability. So by knowing your end in mind and knowing, and by, which started with your very specific definite purpose goal, um, you know exactly what you need and, um, and you're willing to, to go for it because um, you've defined that as your goal. And that person, you don't have to wonder and feel like, am I being too pushy or am I being too salesy? You're actually being respectful, you know, and you're, you're setting an expectation so they don't have to wonder either. And then when they don't follow through and they don't pick up the phone, you can easily say, you know, what I, what's called the takeaway close. Like, I'm so, I'm sorry. I don't want to be a bother but this is after like, you know, four or five tries. Um, cause it usually takes about five interactions to reach out before someone will get back to you. Um, and 10 no's to get a yes. Those are like the major guidelines. So just keep that always in perspective. But, um, after you've tried a few times, you can try that takeaway close and I don't want to be a bother. I appreciate our friendship. And so, um, you know, after this, I won't ever ask you about it again. And that's easy, if people are scared to send that message, but it's actually the best thing you can do because if the person's never going to order, it lets them off the hook and you can breathe. Both of you can be like, Oh God, thank God. I don't, I don't want to talk about each body again with you, but I love you. And you know, you don't want to ruin your relationships. Um, so, but if, but if they were considering it, then it's kind of like a, you know, something that's gonna be like, no, 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 I do want to do that. So I think I just threw out like 10 different like sales <laughs> tips <laughs> in, in like one breath. But um, that's kind of my, you know, my story and my, my 
best tips for you in a nutshell. I bet I have another, a few other ones to add on though too, but maybe I'll take a break and ask if anyone has any questions. <laughs> oh, and there's really really six minutes call. left in the meeting. I better shut up. <laughs> oh, it's all good. We'll have to have you as a speaker again. <laughs> I guess. You're the main Everybody, event, so don't worry. Does yeah. Does anybody worry. have any questions for Christy? And you should Google her too when you get off, by the way. Just do it. I got to go look and make sure all that stuff is cleaned up. I hope there's nothing <laughs> weird out there. <laughs> I haven't Googled myself in a while. In a while. We, wanted, um, we wanted Christy on here, first of all, so you guys could get to know her. But second of all, because, um, you know, she's a success with Beachbody. She's done this for a while. She's seen a lot of success. She's coming back. It's all great. So we want, I just want you to see that, you know, you hear about these coaches making six figures. Well, who are these coaches? Well, here's one, you know, and we can all, we can all do it. So I want you yeah, to be a real person. You all will. It's just commitment over time. And it is, it's, this is not a get rich quick business. It's something that you have, have to build slow and steady over time. But if you own your role as an entrepreneur and a business owner and um, look at it that way and realize that no business is, you know, grows to six figures overnight and you're willing to put the time in, then um, it will pay off. But, um, but you've got to be very specific on goal. Um, and be proud of what you do and be passionate about it. People are not going to follow you if um, you're not proud of it or if you feel like, um, you know, well, I, you know, I, I think you should join me. I mean, I don't, I don't know. It's pretty good stuff. Shakeology is good. I know it's expensive, but, you know, but it, so if you talk like that, people are going to, you're not going to jump on that bag. And if, if Jenny Craig had commercials like, yeah, this problem program's okay. You're not going to sign up. So always be proud and always be passionate and, um, you know, and go for it when they, when you get incentives that's put in front of you, it's because your team cares about you. And so go for those incentives and, um, and get it done. And we actually do have a team incentive going on. If you don't know about, um, my overall team, um, it's, you can go to Facebook and go to, um, or maybe you guys can just put a link in your page. So yeah. it's for summit. Um, what else? We're down to the wire. Do you want me to just like keep talking until it's no. done, or do you? <laughs> no. <laughs> Give her the hook. <laughs> Does anybody have any No, but do you guys have questions? Like seriously, you can ask her. She's just open. Unmute yourself if you're <laughs> muted. But. Oh, wait, when, real quick, what I wanted to say, though, too, is that is one of my biggest pushes for our team right now is, like, I'm going to be growing my – I want to be able to say we're this, like, crazy elite organization with – five stars and 10 stars and all over the place. And we are, you know, Shalise is going to be five star qualifying. I'm currently five, but I'm going for, you know, 10 to 15 in the next year or two. And, um, you know, Robin and Annette are growing and Rania. And so all of you guys are growing, but we are going to have a ton of star diamonds on our team soon. So we want to be able to, to say, this is an elite organization you're joining and you should be proud of that. So know that there are six figure earners in your organization and, you know, lots of star diamonds. Sure. And I should be a millionaire club here, like, I don't know, in the next year, probably. Awesome. <laughs> it's, and it's about consistency, and it's about, um, I, and we, we don't have to end right this second, but I'm the quote person today, and um, the more you believe in your own ability to succeed, the more likely that you will. So Christy talked about this. She lacked her personal development for that two years that she was, she was physically feeling bad. She was mentally feeling bad. And part of that is personal development. She certainly was not diving into reading stuff that was making her head right and making the head trash go away. And not that she didn't have a fine life at that point, but in terms of the business, in terms of just like what she said, like if you're like him and Han, I guess this is okay, you know, and you don't really feel great. Like, oh, I hope I can get success club this month. You're not going to get success club this month. You got to go for it. You got to think you can do it and you got to go for it. And the reason I plugged back in is because my leaders were asking me like, where are you? Are you ever coming back? Are you, they, they, they conveyed to me that they needed me and that made me want to do it. So that's a good message to you guys put faith, you know, people need this from you and you, you give to them and they'll give back to you and you need to see yourself as a leader for them to be able to, to follow you. Yeah. And we're all a team, which is the nice thing because you're not going to have all the answers, 
but somebody in our team will. So bring the question to our team page and ask around. I mean, that's the point. I can't answer all your questions, but I can find an answer. So not expected to know everything. All right, guys. Thanks, guys. Feel Bye. free to send me a personal message if you want to ask any questions. And she's okay. on our team page too, so she, you can tag her in our team page and ask her questions. Can you hear it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Thanks, you guys. Thanks, Christy. You're welcome. Bye. Thanks, Christy. Bye. Bye.